Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Turbo Boat Simulator for the Commodore 64. Um, I originally had this back in the day on the Amstrad CPC 464, and it played pretty well, I thought. Um, wasn't bad of a game. Um, recently just played the Spectrum version, pretty much the same version, but with less colour. Um, virtually no colour effect, but um, so let's see what the Commodore 64 is going to offer. Right, so um, so we can have a choice. I don't know the keys in this game, so I'm going with um, joystick control. Um, so that's F3 for joystick control. So we can have sound effects or music. Um, sound effects off meaning you're going to get music. This music actually getting played through the game. Um, doesn't sound too bad, in fact, but let's have sound effects and F7 to play the game. Right, turbo boat, push fire to start. Um, ooh, immediately it moves straight away. You can't stop the boat. That is annoying on that. This, you cannot stop the boat. Oh my god. To be fair, the Spectrum versions and the Amstrad version. Oh, the boat stopped now. Now, why is. Why is, what's going on there? Why is the why is it firing from the back? Oh, this is really awkward. Once the boat once the boat goes, you oh you can stop it with a lot of fucking effort. Don't know how I've done it there. Right, okay, I've just blown up. So this ain't going too well. So the object of this game is to pick up parcels. On this occasion, um. This version is known as cargo. Okay, and they're dropped by the aeroplanes. And is the aeroplane going to drop something? No, it isn't, bastard. Um, it, it, it's quite nice and smooth. Um, but after playing the Amstrad version and the Spectrum version, this is definitely the weakest out of the lot. all. Oh, because the fact is, you cannot st stop the boat. And now the. Is this. Right, that's a package there. The square ones are the packages. Yeah, and then ones that. If they, you see a round one, they're, they're mines. And you get. Right, and it's only packages dropped by the planes. Right, there's another one. So, for Star Wars, it looks like we've got to collect six. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. This is. Right, okay, let's have another go. Right. So not only is the weakest, it's definitely the I think it's the hardest out of the lot, out of three. Oh you can stop it. Right, you just When you go, you just push back once. Okay, that's how you stop the boat. Right, okay. And it won't stop this time. Why won't it stop this time? Fuck it now. So you can only stop the boat if you're going flat out. Right, you're going flat out, push it back, and it slows it down. Why not Oh, then you push it again to slow it down. Uh, to stop it. It's right, okay. It depends how, 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 how long you lo hold the key down, I guess. Not the key. Or if you're using keys. Right. Because this is emulated, I am using the numerical keys as a joystick so really I'm sort of cheating here but if you're using an emulator and you don't like using joystick you can use the numerical keypad as your joystick like I'm using here um, because the way these numerical keys work is reminds me of using cursor keys back in the day on the Amstrad CPC because of the way that was laid out with the copy key in the middle so you can use that as a fire button Oh, we've got two planes going on here. Yeah, but this one's definitely the hardest out of three. And... I don't know, here's a package. Oh, fucking hell, couldn't even slow the boat down. Yeah, I, I find this one a bit awkward to play, actually. Let's have another go. I'm really finding this awkward to play. Because the fact is... No, the boat won't. Right, I've got that. The fucking collision detection is a bit off here. Right, so. Bloody, I've rode over. Look! I'm riding over them packages and I can't get them. Yeah, 
yeah, it's a very awkward version. I can definitely say this is much better on the Amstrad CPC and the Spectrum. Look, I'm riding over those fucking packages. You've got to be bang on to get those packages. That's just fucking awkward. So I've got to get two more packages. There's one. Right, isn't that right? So I finally got off the first level. Right, so okay. I think the level stages are pretty laid out the same as the other two versions. So this this level should yeah should loop over because you got to jump to jump over there. But you can't you can't go the other way. You can only go this way if you want to loop over. Yeah. But there's nothing going on. Oh, here comes three planes here. So, you can go the same speed. Oh, what did I get? Am I, I'm hitting mines. No, I've lost the planes. None of them dropped a package. Or cargo, in this occasion. Maybe I should... Oh, here we go. Perhaps I've got a... Here's a pack. Here's, and I've blown up. Yeah, I don't like the way... The way that spins around. That is really... Dodgy. Right, let's wait for a boat. Let's wait for. Oh. Didn't drop a package enough. Uh, I find that this game a little bit more awkward than. Well, I say a little bit more awkward. Quite a lot more awkward than the CPC and the Spectrum version. They played pretty well. This doesn't play as well as those two, no way. Um, okay, it might scroll along pretty nicely, but it's a lot harder to play. A, the boat is a bit weird to control. You can't always stop, stop the boat when you want it to. Mm. Um, maybe give this one a miss on the, on the Commodore 64, but you might like it. You never know. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.